Erickson here, and I just wanted to say hi. I'm coming to you from my bathroom because this is really where my rain magic began. I hid myself away from my three little boys and my little girl so they couldn't see me. I turned the dryer on so my cranberry farmer husband couldn't hear me, and I just sat on the bathroom floor and I sobbed, and I sobbed, and I sobbed. I had basically probably 90 seconds before somebody came looking for me or figured out where I was and picked the lock on the door. So after 30 years of fighting migraines, headaches, anxiety, and the rest of the bullshit that comes along with chronic pain, I broke down. I had been taking medicine, and I was on Topamax, Furacet, the, the Tryptoline, I mean, you name it, I probably tried it. And finally, it was taking a toll on my belly, and then my kids started to have headaches. And I said, no, 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 They, I, they can't go through what I went through, what we went through, what we go, what we went, what you go through, what I went through. So anyways, back to the bathroom. So I broke down and I surrendered to whatever powers that be that I needed help. I couldn't do it anymore. I was tired. I was just so tired. I mean, just forget the pain. The pain's over here, but I was just tired of recovering 24 seven. And on top of that, trying to take care of a family and do whatever else. And I honestly, I love to have fun. And it was just robbing me of everything. And you know, I always knew that there was something more. Anyways. In that moment, in that brief moment, that 90 second window, I experienced a moment of grace and truth that continues to unfold today. And I conceived the idea for Migraine Magic. Um, really, I think my intention behind the intention was to create a physical energetic tool that let people connect to their own personal source energy. Because we are energy, everything is energy. Granted, you can have physical pain and physical this and that, but at the root level of everything, everything is energy and has a certain vibration associated with it. Anyways, I digress. So, I conceived the idea for my rain magic, and I went out, and I remember that I, this, this quote just always, always was floating around in my head and it was like, you always have what you need. So, you know, I had dabbled in energy and I had done all kinds of research um, for the roots and causes of migraine and the different ways that you could probably try to treat migraine, you name it. I researched it, and um, so I put everything I had together, and I made it. And actually, I made a mistake, and the mistake was probably one of the best things that I ever did in my entire life. So I tried it out, and immediately, 30 years of migraine pain, gone, like that. But I didn't believe it. 15 minutes later, the, the pain came back. So I sprayed it on again. Gone. Just like that. I didn't believe it. I'm pretty skeptical at heart. So I kept trying it out, trying it out. Six months of trying this stuff out. Unbelievable. It felt like a million bucks. I mean, I felt like, I don't know what Oxycontins feel like, but I felt, whatever, I felt high as a kite. And you know what it was? I was just healthy for the first time in over 30 years. I was healthy. So, long story short, here we are. I am now, I now have a business. I'm helping so many people 
feel better and they and they're finding their way in life again and um, I just want to say you know good for you if you listen to your gut and you were led to here now because this stuff is really life-changing and there's so many more benefits to this I mean yeah it gets rid of your pain and it actually provides your cells with a natural voltage that they need to do their work but more than that it may it raises your physical personal vibration and what does that mean that means you actually just feel better and better and better and better and better and better and better because their thoughts really do affect how we feel and your thought thoughts that are good are associated with lower vibrational patterns and if there's one thing about energy you can't destroy it. So if you have pain and you have residual energy from that pain, you have to transform it. So, you know, taking a painkiller is not gonna get at your, your issues. It's gonna make you feel better or you're gonna adapt to living, you know, different levels of low grade pain or you, you might run the gamut, depending on where you are and what your body's doing. But um, if you have any questions, just reach out, you know? There's a 100% guarantee. It doesn't do me any good if you don't feel better from migraine magic. So there's a 100% refund. And um, <laughs> it's pretty awesome stuff. Hey, this is Lisa from Migraine Magic, and I want to show you how to use this. In the directions it says saturate 10 to 15 times a day per area. So what that means is, is you're gonna shake it and you're gonna saturate where your pain points are. For me, a lot of them start in my scapula. And as you can see, I'm spraying very close. It's great for beach hair. Spraying like this, that might make you feel good, but you're not gonna get the targeted benefits that you want in order to get rid of the pain. Now, it might come back within a few minutes. Just keep spraying those areas again. If you have uh, nausea with your aura, spray your belly too, and your second nervous system is in your gut. So the reason why I say 10 to 15 times a day, as soon as you use it for two weeks, is because you're Part of the way this works is it's replenishing your electrolyte system and it metabolizes 24 hours after you use it. Also, depending on how you handle stress. So if you are constantly engaged in the fight or flight system, you're gonna run through this stuff faster. I mean, your body is just soaking up the soul food it needs that it's been missing for so long. So, more up front, equals less on the back end. Now don't fall into the trap of feeling wicked good and then you think you don't need it anymore. In the beginning it's easy to do that and you can go two or three days out because you feel great, you think you don't need it. Keep spraying through that at least for two weeks. Believe I want you to see how good Hi, this is Lisa from Migraine Magic. I want to show you how to use this. Shake and then spray all over for prevention. If you're in a really bad pain cycle, spray wherever the pain is. For me, a lot of my pain starts behind my shoulder blade. You should feel immediate relief. If you've been in a bad pain cycle and it's going to take a little bit longer to bring you out, use your Migraine Magic Eraser and go over the pain points once again. I made this eraser because a lot of my pain started behind the scapula on my shoulder. If you want to use it for other energy work, shake it and you can spray all along your 7th, 6th, 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd and 1st chakras, front and back. That will also help clear the energy field. Thanks, enjoy. 
My name is Oriana and I'm here in snowy, beautiful Breckenridge, Colorado learning how to ski and I never ever thought this would have been possible. Between the elevation and altitude to working out really hard, these kind of things would always make me sick with a migraine. I'm a chronic migraineur which means at my worst I will have a migraine every single day. So everything I do in my life, from my lifestyle to my online fitness business, Tilt by Oriana, is to stay out of pain and live a happy, healthy life. So I wish the very same for you. Please give Migraine Magic a try. If it can work for me, it can work for you. My migraines have gone from chronic to episodic, meaning I only have them once in a while. And by using Migraine Magic as part of my lifestyle training, if you will, I am able to transform my triggers, any anxiety or stress uh, that might turn into a migraine by using migraine magic. So in the best case scenario, you'll be pain free and worst case scenario, you're gonna smell great. <laughs> it's an amazing product, I love it. And the creator, Lisa Erickson, is a real hero of mine. So I highly suggest giving it a try and spreading the love and wealth of health this holiday season, if you can. God bless. Hey everybody, how you doing? All my migraine sufferers will no more. I am here and I have your best friends here with me and that's with Migraine Magic. And I also have on Skype, Lisa Erickson. So thank you so much you guys for joining. I hope you guys enjoyed those videos. So furthermore, let's get more in depth what these magic potions are made out of. Thanks to Lisa. Hey Lisa, how you doing? Hi, Michelle. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. I have been having so much fun trying out all of these different types because not only do, do you have migraine magic, but you have love magic and meditation magic. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, after I train and I have hard days that I train, I sometimes suffer with headaches. Yesterday was actually one of them. Mm -hmm. So I was on Instagram stories and just simply by watching the videos, learning and experiencing exactly what this is made out of, I mean, it's as simple as that. It relaxes me, it smells good, it de-stresses me. There's so many benefits to it. First off, I wanna say thank you for inventing this wonderful product. Thank you. Absolutely, so tell me again, kind of how you fell into finding all of the different ingredients to formulating migraine magic. So, you know, I was a chronic migrainer for 30 years um, and I had done, you know, all kinds of research and practice and implementing everything that um, I thought I would need for my own healing, right? Mm -hmm. But for like, after like 10 years, I still was having this, you know, chronic daily pain. And it really took my daughter coming downstairs one day and she literally had like, you know, her, her blanket in tatters, just like a hot mess. And she's just like, you know, mommy, my, my head hurts. Mommy, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Mommy, you know, sound hurts, light hurts, my hands are cold, my feet are cold. And I was like a deer in headlights because I was like, oh no, right. like. Not this, no, no. Right? No, so what was really interesting about that moment is that was the moment migraine magic was created. I didn't know it yet, right? But what I realized is what I couldn't do for myself, I could do for my child. So a mother's love is atomic. A mother's love knows no resistance. A mother's love knows no bounds. And I mean, it doesn't have to be a blood mm -hmm. child. It, I would do the same thing for my dog. Right. Like if I knew my dog had migraine, it doesn't matter. But the point is, is I didn't have any resistance to, to getting my child what I needed. Because you know, you and me, mm -hmm. we can have a migraine, right? But mm -hmm. like if someone we love does, Right. You just feel so helpless. Like, you know that pain. You know it's relentless. And to not be able to help somebody, it, it hurts more, really, right? Right. So it was like I went back to the drawing board and I started looking at all my notes and all the techniques that I had learned. And it was just timing and no resistance. And I just started seeing patterns. Patterns started jumping out at me. Mm -hmm. So, like, 
the the solution that the the base solution and all of these is literally very similar to like an IV drip. Okay. It's like it's a saline solution. And you know a lot of people can feel like they're having a heart attack or a migraine or whatever and they go in and if they get hooked up to the IV they feel better. better like all of you know even if they're hooked up to all these different machines it's like they come out feeling better than they have in years right and that's partially because i think that they're dehydrated exactly so when you're working out like working out i used to do a lot of high intensity stuff mm -hmm. and i would get migraines well i now know it was because i was dehydrated but not like the daily dehydrated stuff mm -hmm. i'm talking like years years of being dehydrated not getting the essential minerals and stuff that my body needed and so that's kind of what's in migraine magic so i noticed that there were things that people weren't getting i noticed that migraineers have structurally a different brain so then it became like an energy electrical issue i noticed drink that drink lots of this yeah <laughs> i noticed that um migraineers pee out 50 percent more sodium wow i didn't know the that. average person so there's like a, i saw a lot of different patterns and you know all these medical studies and i i studied under some of these really amazing yogi masters you know the guys in the himalaya mountains that they're all coming out now and they're sharing you know a lot of their lineage information that they've that they have protected for so long so that's really how it was my daughter, it took my daughter, and then I just saw all these patterns and what seemed to provide healing and um, pain relief and tension relief for people. I'd like to know how each of these can be used differently since this is love, meditation, and obviously migraine. Can yeah. someone use, let's say, love and meditation if they have a migraine, or is it that they have to just use this one? All right, so here's the scoop. It's like if somebody has chronic pain for anything, mm -hmm. I do use crystal essences, and those work on certain properties in the body, but they they work on deeper, more subtle energies. So if someone has chronic migraines, even though the base solution is in all those sprays, I wouldn't recommend the other two until they get their physical pain in check because right. really nobody really cares about what's going on in their energy field if mm -hmm. they're always hurting right right exactly so migraine magic works more on the physical body right mm -hmm. we have other subtle energies so it's bringing all that energy that's literally rushing up to the head and it's bringing it back down and distributing it through the body and primarily feeding it through the cells um so I don't even use migraine magic so much anymore because I don't, I get maybe six a year and it's usually because I get lazy with self care, mm -hmm. right? Like I know, I know what's going on with my migraines. Right. So then I was, um, so then I wasn't satisfied. So I wanted something else and I was like, what can I help my meditations get deeper? Mm -hmm. What can help connect me to this energy that's out there? Like I need a tool based upon my level of consciousness. And I came up with the meditation magic, which has other essential oils in it, really sacred oils that you will find in like the Bible. Um, That's so cool. I love that. The Dead that. Sea Scrolls, you know, the, Jew the Torah. Um, and that is more of like, if I'm meditating and I've got like a wall and I know that I'm in my own way, I would use that more also to clear like, you know, the, the air around us because I practice breathing as well. Mm -hmm. And it's very important to get good air. And it's funny air. you say that because I was actually practicing my breathing while I was meditating yesterday and I used the meditation magic because as weird as it is to sound when you're posing in a competition, you think you just walk out on stage and you pose, right? Yeah. It is so much more than that. It's the mind-body connection. It's the motivation. It's the confidence, knowing yeah. that you can do it. And when you're on stage, everything is just white. You're just in shock. And so when I need to meditate and focus on my posing, I really got to meditate and I have to relax. I need to breathe. 
I need to stop just, you know, you get so excited and all your, your monkey brain's going. And so what I find with meditation magic, I get with my stones, clear my chakras, find the balance. And that's what this is perfect for. Whereas meditation yeah. magic, migraine magic, excuse me, which is this one. This one's great for more like after cardio when I've had a really, really hard sweat, a hard workout. Um, you know, I need to get replenished really quickly, have this in the car with me, jump right in, I'll spray it on me, feel really, really good. Um, right. And that's the same that I love to do with essential oils, which is beneficial because there's lovely essential oils in this mixture and all of these as well. Yeah. So, well, see, so you're already using it intuitively. It's yeah. funny because it finds it's home right um and i also so for me this is like medicine this mm -hmm. is like my medicine and it's healthy but really what it does is it's replenishing the energy systems in my body yeah and um and a lot of people take that for granted their energy fields how much energy they have um it, it, it's almost like how much energy are you giving to others how much energy are you able to keep for yourself that's health. Yeah, that's so a, in like a healthy an way. Asset you know? and deficit. That's kind of exactly. how I, I. If I'm leaking energy, that whole adrenal fatigue. You yeah. know, you get stressed out, anxiety. That's where it comes out. Where you have to balance your chakras, find your energy balance, and especially with the love magic. You yeah. Know, this is also a really, really beneficial thing to use as well. Um, yeah. Again. When you're finding time alone, you just need to clear your thoughts, maybe do some positive affirmations. Um, yeah. That's another thing that I love. So each of these have really good tools to use for them. Yeah, and you can even take it a step further, like with the moon cycle, mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah. So big, big thing I found in working with hundreds of people with migraines is that Across the board, three to five days before the new moon, which, by the way, is in two days, right? Mm -hmm. Three to five days before the full moon, mm -hmm. migraine is start going down like flies. I find that very funny. Yeah, it's coincidental. How do you feel right now? Like, Well, I have kind of one coming on a little bit, like I did yesterday. But again, yeah. I just need to calm down. You know, maybe yeah. after this, take a bubble bath. Just relax. Yeah. Exactly. Um, you know? So when you know that, then you can be preventative. Right. You know, then you can be more preventative. And I also, another tool that I have that's free on the website is the Migraine Magic Audio. I don't know if you've had a chance to download that. But I had it created specifically for me to balance my nervous system. So this is like putting light into your body. And then the second piece is working on the magnetics, the vibration. So right. it people with migraines tend to be like, I call them type A intuitives, really. Yeah. You know, it's like, and we tend to be sympathetic dominant, that part in the nervous system that's, you know, you feel like you're always on, like you're going to fight the tiger or right. the lion. The fight or flight. Yeah, and which contributes to adrenal fatigue. So this is another piece for meditation or migraines or whatever, is you need to intentionally balance the nervous system. And so that really helps. And as funny as it sounds with the connection that you said with the moon and astrology and um, and everything with the chakras that you were talking about, I also find that it's with the seasons. The seasons change where allergies come up. Migraines yeah. are affected from allergies. So now it's winter. The, the air is thin. So definitely this helps me breathe. This oh, is yeah? something that definitely... You know, I definitely want you guys to try. Go to migrainemagic.com and it's m a g i c k dot com. Okay. Yeah. And tell, tell everyone again where this has been seen. Like, hasn't it been seen in some really like glamour magazine or something? Yeah, it's been in a few magazines. Yeah. It's been in um, well, Integral Yoga, Glamour, Health Monitor. Yeah. Um, elements. I, it's it's made its way into a few cool places. I love so it. I'm very I'm very happy with it. And Lisa, when you come to Vegas, come to the WCOBM studio, so we can bring crystals and talk about you know oils and your great greatness. Because I love your energy. We can do a meditation. Oh, that would be so great. Hope to get out there for March Madness, the playoffs. I know you guys are like, what is she talking about? But no, I'll bring my Buddha, and we'll come in here and we'll have a good old time. 
love it. That would be great. Okay. Well, have a beautiful day, you. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, bye. All right, you guys, I'm telling you, Lisa Erickson, go and follow her. Go to Migraine Magic. Go see them on Instagram and Facebook. This is a product you guys got to try. Moms, I'm telling you what, this is going to be your best friend. And you can just spoil yourself and have some fun while you're meditating, too. So, anyways, live every Thursday, Michelle Davis Fitness. Hope you guys have enjoyed yourself. I am so thankful for you guys hanging out with me today. And I love you all, and I'll see you again. Have a great day. Bye.